the book of Joshua, it says something interesting. The book of Joshua chapter 10, it says that God tells Joshua, you got to liquidate all the enemies, get rid of all of them. And then Joshua kind of gets a little nervous because God told Moses to get rid of all the enemies. But when the sun went down, a bunch of them escaped. And that's how we wound up with, ready? Haman! Boo! <laughs> if 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 he would have killed all these people, then we would have never had payment. Boo! Okay, so so interesting, interesting. Now wait a minute. If 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 Haman was a cow, then instead of saying boo, you'd say boo. There it is. Okay. Okay. That's terrible. That's terrible. Okay. So it says there that Joshua then he goes okay. Uh, Son, do me a favor, stand still, don't go nowhere. So he tells the sun not to move, and the sun stays there. All day long, 24 hours, stays there. Oh so my then gosh. he's able to kill all the enemies. Not one escapes. So then it says, Don't you know that all of this is written in Sefer Hayashah? So now you're reading the Torah, and it says, Don't you know all this is written in Sefer Hayashah? And you're going, There ain't no Sefer Hayashah in the Bible. <laughs> so then, where is that book? In Israel, and where go to Jerusalem, and then you find it there, and when, and it's going to be in Russian, Spanish, English, or Hebrew. Hebrew. What do you think? It's going to be in Israel, in Jerusalem, and you look at that scroll, and the scroll is going to be in what language? In Spanish, English. Hebrew. Ah, yes. Yeah, yeah you got it. Hey! <laughs> All right, ready? Wait a minute. Finger clapping. Finger, finger clapping. Clap. Finger clapping. Finger clapping. Finger clapping. Okay, that's it. Finger clapping. Okay, thank you. And he's getting the right ones. We ain't getting the pink. <laughs> Real. Okay, so now what happens? So, in Sefer HaYashad, Sefer HaYashad is a book that's older than Genesis. Oh my goodness. And so that's quite interesting. Because when was Genesis written? Genesis was written when Moses came. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes. Sefer HaYashad was written right before that. Okay. Wow. So what's interesting is about Sefer Hayashad, it's called the Book of the Righteous. Okay, It's attributed to Abraham, Yitzhak, and Yaakov, starting it out. And uh, anyway, but what's really, what's, uh, uh, what's really interesting is it says there, it, it corrobor corroborates or confirms what the Bible teaches. Because when the Torah teaches, the Torah teaches some, the most important things all the time. It never really gives you... And all those details in between. It kind of like jumps to the next thing that's important. Okay, fine. So in the Bible, we see that uh, Noah, Noah, Noah and his sons, right? Noah and his sons, right? They, uh, they, they come off the, the ark, right? So then they, you know, they're starting their farms and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, in the Bible, it says that Noah got drunk. So then all these people say, oh, he was a drunkard, this and that. Look, how did he, why did he get, wind up getting drunk? <laughs> because around the earth, around the earth, it didn't rain before. But there was a special sunscreen around the earth that God put there. And it was a sphere of water, a big bubble of water. So the earth is here. And around the earth was this big bubble of water. This is what our sages teach. So then <laughs> when it rained for 40 days and 40 nights, it was that sphere coming down. It didn't. It wasn't like in the movies that they show you thunder and lightning and tsunamis and baloney. It rained for forty days and forty <laughs> nights because that water was just coming down. Okay. Of course, by the time it finished, that sun was blazing hot. Okay. And then, so of course, you already know it helped to dry the you know the, the earth. And uh, <laughs> so Noah had you know how they had food and all this on the ark. Well, he also, the sun now was a different way. The sun was with, with this heat that it never, they never experienced before. So God tells man, no, it sucks. It's, now you guys gotta eat red meat. You gotta eat meat. Why is it that he tells them all of a sudden to re eat red meat? That don't make sense. Everybody was vegetarian. Everybody. Just like the vegetarians today tell you that <laughs> our intestines were made to be vegetarian. And they're right. But God caused a miracle to happen because vegetarian intestines can now 
eat hamburgers and steaks, you know. So now what happens? Okay, well, you got everybody eating red meat now. Why? Because in red meat, we know today, there's one protein found in red meat that can't be found nowhere else, and it's to help to be an automatic protection for your skin against the sun, against the UV rays. Wow. Interesting. So now what happens is, is that Noah, you know, he, he always used to make wine because, of course, on Friday night, what do you, what, what do you use to bless, to bless the eternal and welcome Shabbat? You have a challah, you have your mommy lights candles, but there's a cup there with what? With what, Nata? What is in the cup? Well, in your case, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's all right. 